What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we are doing a one year update on the Flexilla Garden Hose. So um, I'm going to hurt some feelings and I'm going to stir the pot on this topic so you stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm bringing this video to you about a year and six months after owning this hose. I did a previous video on this hose um, a while back last summer. Uh, you can check it out in the upper right hand corner if you'd like. Uh, this hose is definitely awesome. So I'll start out with saying that I love this hose. Um, it is an awesome garden hose. Uh, a lot of people don't like it and it's controversial and a lot of people make comments that it's a crappy hose and it kinks all the time. This is not a hose for lazy people. So if you're lazy and you just want to uh, have, a, have a garden hose on a reel and you know uh, just yank it out whenever you need to and literally just pull the entire hose down the, down the yard and not have to mess with anything, you want to be lazy about garden hose, this is not the garden hose for you. Uh, this this does take a little bit more time to get out and it takes a little bit more time to put away but this hose will last you a lifetime it's not like those other crappy hoses that get all cracked up and uh, just are, are just junk so uh, I, I like these hoses these poly hoses can be left outside in the winter I'm not saying that you should abuse your hoses like that or leave them uh, hooked up to your hose bibs through the winter but if you were to forget about it and the temperature drops below freezing, this hose is going to have a lot more, um, you know, a lot more flexibility and it's going to expand with that freezing water instead of just cracking your hose all to crap just because you forgot that one time. So th this hose is forgiving. Uh, this hose is, you know, it doesn't look like it's faded much. It's still really, really uh, neon color, which I like. Um, I could wipe it down. I didn't wipe it down because I'm making a video about it. So you can clean it off if you'd like. You can keep it, you know, dirty from rolling across the ground. It is what it is. But I think this hose is definitely going to hold up for many years to come. And I don't see any deterioration in it whatsoever. So let's, uh, let's get down to deterioration first. So, okay, so this is an example of a, uh, one of those non-kink hoses. Uh, this is made by Technor Apex Company. Um, basically, this has a no kink spine down it. Um, this hose is about the same age as my Flexzilla. Um, I've had to replace the end on it because it was plastic. So, you know, I had to put a new end on it. Um, and this hose is cracked in multiple places. I'm going to roll in some pictures here of some uh, areas of this hose that have cracked through, and you can actually see the ribbing inside the rubber hose. So, in my opinion, it, it didn't hold up very well. So I think these are about the same age and they sit outside. Um, both of these hoses were taken in and stored in the attic in cold storage um, over the winter. So it's not like I misused and abused them. Um, they're the same, uh, basically treated the exact same way. Uh, and, and it's just how one wears compared to the other. So a cheaper hose, yes, but a m better quality hose, not even close. So let's talk about, I'd like to get out this Flexzilla and show you exactly what I'm talking about by it's not a lazy man's hose. All right, guys, I'm going to do the best to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm going to pull this hose completely off my hook here, and you just throw it down, and then you want to go ahead and pull it out. Um, this hose isn't going to work for you like that. Um, you're going to get a lot of kinking. You're going to get exactly what it's doing right there. Um, you know, lazy people, when they want to get out their hose, they just throw it down on the ground and they're going to uh, fight with that knot there. And now I have to come in here, figure out my knot. Okay, maybe it'll be easier if I apply water to it. Hey, look, I got a leak in my cheap, got a leak in my cheap handle here. All right, okay, now maybe it's a little easier when you put water on it. Okay, now I'm still fighting with it. This is how lazy people get out their hose. And they fight with it and they say that hoses suck and they are just 
oh, this hose is, oh, this hose is such garbage. That's what they say. Um, but it's really all in the user. All right, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I put the hose up every time. Um, it, when I say that it takes a little time and effort to put it back the correct way, um, you know, just take a little bit of time and coil your hose up the right way. And then you won't have to worry about it doing dumb things in the future. If you wanted to put this on a reel, um, this Flexzilla hose is not, not good for a reel. Um, it has a lot of, it has a lot of elasticity. So it's going to, um, it's definitely going to stretch when you put it on a hose reel. So, you know, if you're, if you're trying to do that and you pull it out, um, you, you'll find that you need to put it away with uh, pressure on it. If you do want to put it on a hose reel, um, you will have to do it with the, with the pressure on it. Okay, so that's how I put my hose away every time. Coiling it, make sure that you know, you're twisting it so that it all lines up, it's nice and neat. All right guys, for this round, I'm going to take out the hose in a way that you should do with a Plexilla hose. go ahead and pull it out and show you that it doesn't kink up. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing that I was able to pull out the hose, put some pressure on it, and it didn't kink at all. I wasn't lazy about it. I just went ahead and took a little bit of extra time to get my hose off uh, the hook and got it unreeled. And hey, guess what? Didn't kink on me. If you do get a kink, it's probably because you're trying to go around something or you're not spinning the hose as you come out. It uncoils just like an extension cord. So if you're using an extension cord um, and you know you, you come up on a kink, um, it's probably your fault because you're not spinning uh, the extension cord in order for it to not kink. So that's another thing that I like about this hose. This hose, even if you kink it and you kink it really bad, it has no memory. It goes right back to where it was. So you can kink it in multiple places. You can do whatever you need to do to it or whatever you want, and it has no memory. It goes right back to where it was. When you, you start kinking those crappy rubber hoses or those hoses with no kink spines, um, all you do is tear up that spine. Um, there are some big quality contractor hoses out there that have a metal spine down them. All you do when you kink that bad boy over is you crimp that, that uh, wire in there and you never get it back. It has no memory. It will stay kinked. It will always be a trouble spot for you. So you might as well cut the hose off there and put a fitting on both ends and call it two hoses at that time. So I think this hose is definitely worth every bit of the dollar that you spend on it. Um, this is the 5 8 variant. Um, I'll roll in some pictures of the O-rings. Um, the, it comes with O-rings, folks, and you know you get those nice anodized crimped fittings on the end. They're nice and protected. They have the green Flexilla. I think it's just an awesome hose. Uh, you know, if you disagree with me, whatever. But uh, you're probably one of those people that is is lazy about you know getting it out and putting it away. Yes, it does take some extra time. I wouldn't recommend it on a hose reel, um, but you're never going to find the best hose. Um, I, I think this is definitely a 9 out of 10. Um, the only thing that I would you know, like to see on this is a little bit less uh, elasticity to be able to go on a hose reel so that you can pull it out um, with no water on it and it will be a lot more user friendly for people that want it on a reel. I don't use hose reels so it really is, uh, is you know, not, it, it's, it's a non-issue in my book. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, it's a little controversial. I hate hearing people complain about this is a crappy hose because I absolutely love this hose and everybody that I've recommended it to, I've shown them, hey, it's going to take you a little extra time to, to uh, get this out and put it away. And once you have that understanding, once you accept that, that you need to take a little extra time for it to work great for you, then boom, nobody has any trouble with it. So 
I highly recommend this hose to you. If you, uh, you know, if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree, give the thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. I hope to see you click subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified. And if you're one of my subscribers already, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.